Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I will speak about game Hernandez Gilberto Victor Korchnoi 1996 Merida and if you see red symbols, believe me or no, that means Black's King's moves. So Black will run out from the most dangerous position and he will play by his king to e8, d7, c8, c7, b6, a4, a3, b3, c2 and the last and the winning move will be when black skin will go to d2. So I hope you will enjoy a really exciting amazing chess game where nothing is impossible and we will remember Viktor Korchnoi, one of the best chess players of all times, e4, e6 and um, Viktor Korchnoi used to be one of the strongest chess players in a French defense and the biggest expert of this opening. So I understand why uh, White is playing sideline with move d3. Anyway, if you will like this video, feel free and press like or follow in my YouTube chess channel and I will see you next time soon. Thank you very much and now let's come back. So d5 and um, White is playing by his queen to e2. Of course, he is going to block his light square as bishop. So, makes sense that White will play one day g3 and bishop to g2. Okay, c5. Center is the most important part of the chessboard and in the opening, both players are doing their best to get there any advantage. Anything so small advantage in the center is a huge advantage anywhere in later on. So knight to f3, knight to c6, and g3. g3 mean like one is playing to g2 and he will do his best to have strong light squares bishop. This is a really good moment to learn from this game. Uh, what do you think Viktor Korchnoi will play? What is now the most important plan for him and for him the most important plan is to block this bishop not forever but for a long time and Viktor Gorchnoi is taking on e4 of course um, makes sense that uh, white will take by his pawn and watch this pawn this pawn is on the light square so this pawn is uh, something like a wall for the light square as bishop. The last step is to stop block this wall, to not move forward and to be happy that white will have a problem with his light square as bishop. It was a really interesting chess idea um, which should be used in lots of our and other games. So it's good to remember. Okay, now both players will go for short castling soon or later. So bishop to g2, uh, of course, there is open d file. White will go for short castle first and then he will play rook to d1. So after short castle, the first threat is to play rook to d1. So black is playing by his queen to c7. He is going out of the open file and out from any threats. Okay, knight to a3. This knight has interesting plan to go to c4, e3 and then black has two weaknesses, uh, two weak squares, d5 and f5 and these squares are a target for this knight. So that's a good moment to watch this knight because this knight should be a dangerous knight or threat to a black. So okay, bishop to Bishop to uh, e6. I will show a really funny mistake. What do you think about move or to b8? It's a mistake, as I told you, and I will tell you why. Because it's a dangerous to put um, two heavy pieces in the same line if our opponent has dark squares bishop. And of course, this move, bishop to f4, is a threat. And the threat is working here very well for white. White will take on e5 twice and then he will win material. So I will show you uh, once, second times and the last threat is a winning threat because uh, rook to b8, I told you, is a mistake. So it's good to remember another 
another mistake and bishop to e6 makes sense knight to g5 of course we know that um, this bishop will be exchanged it's up to us where we will exchange this bishop and i believe that the knight on c4 is the biggest threat to us because the knight on c4 is not superstar now but if this knight will jump to f5 or d5 it will be a really strong piece so why not to shoot this uh, this knight immediately and to exchange this knight okay short castle and yes from now I remember where black has his king on g8 and I remember this red symbols because that's everything happen soon in this game a4 b5 both players are playing where they are stronger white is trying to push his pawns and pieces on the left side of the chessboard and of course black is doing the same on the right side of the chessboard everybody will do their best to get an advantage where they have more pieces more space and chances how to outplay his opponent okay c4 makes sense and watch bishop on e7 now this bishop is passive bishop it's good to improve this bishop it's good to believe that we have good job for this bad bishop for this reason c4 is making space for this bishop and check is there of course uh, black improve his bishop uh, now believe me or no black has big difficulties after move f5 um, black's king side position will be under heavy attack under heavy pressure because g4 g5 and uh, white's rooks are going to f3 g1 bishop to g5 you know black is in a big danger how to play such a difficult position first it's important to not make any mistake i know it's a difficult second it's important to improve your pieces as good as you can as much as you can so you have to be ready for the strike you have to be ready for the attack and wait for the right time to go for counter attack okay so it's good to go for open defile that's nothing wrong to get any chances there of course g4 h6 and why is opening g file so this position is getting worse and worse one hope for black is waiting for him in end game white has a bad pawn formation so if black will survive he will win in end game or maybe he has chances in end game so that's good idea to remember if our opponent is going for attack and we are under pressure just say to yourself okay now i will survive and i will win in end game so believe yourself believe your position that your position will hold everything and believe that your chances are still waiting for you so rook to d6 uh, black is going to save a knight on f6 and he's making space for another rook to go to d8 as i told you black need to improve his pieces as go as good as he can he has to wait for the strike and he's waiting for his chance okay now black's king side position black king is in danger it's not healthy to stay there forever and now the show is starting on so black went to f8 and black is trying to put all heavy pieces for d file you know black position is still stable he's not changing pawn formation and this is important just improve your pieces you can try your best and if this improving is not working try another improving but don't touch a pawn. this is really the most important part of defense don't touch a pawn if you have another way how to play this position so okay uh, um, black is making space for his king and he's still just playing with pieces uh, he's playing by king by knight but not by opponents a3 knight to g8 
Yes, of course, black position is really passive, you know, no activity, no threats. Yes, of course, it's a difficult and tough position for black, but as I told you, believe in any game. Believe that you will survive, and if you will believe, you will enjoy this game. Even if you are playing terrible, hard position, it's funny position for you because you are speaking to yourself, okay, now I will survive, and then I will win, and then I will enjoy. So, H3, and... One more time, black's king side position, black king is in danger. So watch this move, wow, okay, one exchange, why not, we are happy to go for endgame, f6, and one more time, black's king is in danger position. Oh my god, this is so beautiful, oh no, you know, funny game, like uh, black is going to c8, and everything happened, or something changed. If black is here, or here, or here, of course, something is wrong. But now, black is smiling, and I believe that black is enjoying this game. I hope you are enjoying this position as well. And uh, bishop to f2, bishop to e3, it's good to exchange everything, because as I told you, endgame, yes, why not to go to endgame? Well done. So, black survive, and now black is going for counter-attack. The main black's uh, white's weakness is on b2 and of course these light squares are weak squares okay I'm, i will make another another mark so it's a good idea to attack these weaknesses and as i told you black defense was okay he survived and now he's playing for win okay uh, watch this bishop. This bishop is such a passive bishop and I told you in the beginning that um, Black did his best to block this bishop and now he is getting advantage of this bad bishop. So, okay, funny funny move and he is on a4. Oh my god. Okay, even a Black lost a pawn, he is winning and it's a simple fruit that black will be faster. You know, well done to Viktor Korchnoi, and it's a good time to remember one of the best chess players of all times. Viktor Korchnoi was really my favorite chess player, and I hope after this game that yours as well. So, another pawn, and another pawn. Of course, <laughs> this endgame is won because these three pawns are so fast. And what's important, this pawn has a really strong support. Black's king is the best supporter of pawns in the end game. And for this reason, um, black is winning. Okay, the last mistake and it's game over. And as I told you, black's king is on d2. Wow, that was a game. So, knight to d3 and... Nobody will stop black to play c3, c2, and on c1 is waiting for him victory. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you saw a really interesting chess game. A game which should give you chess energy and fantasy to play beautiful chess. I hope that you enjoyed this video. So, thank you very much for every like or follow. And... I will be very happy to see you again next time. So, I wish you a good day, I wish you good games and I hope I will see you soon. So, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.